My name is Sally, and today I'll be giving an overview on my YSP project, Exploring Dysregulation in Immunometabolic Pathways, which was completed under the mentorship of Dr. Afshin Khan. So to start, immunometabolism is a field that explores interaction between metabolism and the immune system. And from what we know from previous research, different aspects of metabolism have been shown to be important in immune system function. And as we can see from the figure below, immunometabolism allows for us to link immune cells, pathways, as well as larger systems. And because of this, immunometabolism has gained recognition in space health research, where current studies focus on the impairment of immune cells, such as T cells and B cells. But with that being said, the challenge that we currently face is that there's not many tools for defining relationships between other metabolites and the immune system especially in the context of spaceflight. Thus, our solution that our team proposed was to use available astronaut data to analyze immunometabolic expression and draw connections to various cellular and immune responses. So this project consisted of two main parts. The first was literature and data search. And here I researched different space studies related to the immune system and astronaut health, and then compiled a list of metabolites and data sets for analysis with bioinformatics tools. The second part was analysis, where I obtained gene expression data from two astronaut data sets, and then wrote Python code to extract the top 10 differentially expressed genes from both data sets. And from there, I utilized online tools such as gene cards and gene a la carte to help categorize these genes and also draw conclusions to their connection to immunometabolism. Moving on to the results, I discovered in the first data set that some of the upregulated genes such as EEF1A1 and MALAT1 were associated with tRNA. And this was an interesting finding because tRNA primarily works in protein synthesis, but from further exploration, I found that it also helps to regulate immune response. Another interesting find was GAPDH, where its activation impacts immune dysfunction as well as inflammation. Also from the second data set, I noticed similar patterns of non-immune specific genes being associated with metabolism and regulation. So to sum up what I discovered from this project, the biggest finding was that there were several non-immune specific genes um, that were upregulated in both data sets. And these genes have shown to have some connection to the immune system as well as metabolism. And because of this, the next steps of this project would include doing further research into the pathways these upregulated genes are associated with. And the ultimate goal would be able to hopefully provide a more concrete understanding of the role of metabolites in these immune processes. And with that, thank you so much for listening to my presentation.